we love because he first loved us. 1 John 4.19 uh, Jesus has loved us before we were even created. He knows everything about us. He knows us more than we know ourselves because he's God, right? And we, we have to trust this. We have to trust this because if we trust ourselves, we aren't gonna go in a direction that makes sense. It's not gonna be a direction that, that leads to prosperity, right? And so this love that Jesus puts forward to us, we need to hold on to it because his love is greater than any sin we can commit. Any, any pleasure we can get from sin. Because sin, sin destroys us. Sin is what separates us from God, from the love of God. Let me word it in a different way. Sin takes away our openness to be loved by God because we become deceived by the devil. Our flesh deceives us and therefore we think that we are not worthy of love. But this is why we need to remind ourselves that the love of Jesus when he suffered on the cross for us is greater. That joy that we gain from that knowledge is, is greater than anything else. And so we cannot be discouraged, although it's easier said than done, right? Because at the end of the day, each person's sin affects themselves. You know, if someone else, is, if someone else sins, to us, we don't really care, right? We, it doesn't give us conviction. It doesn't affect us as much as when we do it because we feel we should be held accountable. We feel the conviction. But yet when we sin ourselves, we let the devil, we give the devil a chance to, to grow more and more and we can become so discouraged by this that we can even fall away. <sighs> so we love because he first loved us. We serve because he served us. The Lord Jesus didn't come down to earth to, to say, you know, he didn't boast. He didn't, he didn't try to be better than anyone else. He came to serve. He loved us. He, he washed the disciples' feet, you know. And I think the most important thing about living, us as human beings on earth, is that we have something that we won't have in heaven. And that is time. You know, Jesus made himself a man and he had 33 years to complete his work, you know, to save the world. And we also have been given time to complete the will of the Father, the will of God. And time gives us a sense of urgency. We need to use this time. We need to use this time because you know, when you get to heaven, it's all good, right? You, you'll forget about, I, I don't know, you'll probably forget about what you did on earth. But whilst you live, these are the moments that count, that count towards God's kingdom, that count towards fruit bearing, that count towards saving others by abiding in Jesus. 
we can't we can't be uh, overtaken by laziness because it, laziness is a selfish it's a selfish act especially when you overdo it and so we need to be watchful we need to be careful of not wasting our time because right now we are burdened with the flesh you know satan satan is the ruler of the world and we are still joined with flesh but we are also joined with spirit and we need to see it as a privilege that we get that we get to suffer because because jesus being god jesus being a servant he came down himself to suffer he came down to suffer to to bring out a greater good and that's what we should do as well because because suffering suffering brings out a, a true a true love a love that that can show others a love that can show the world that the love that we have is unmatched is unmatched to anything this love is treasurable it's precious it's not of the world you know and so we need to serve because he served us we need to love because he loved us first and uh, we need to pray we need to pray in the spirit we need to pray without ceasing and paul who used to be Saul, you know he he was he persecuted christians right he persecuted i don't know hundreds thousands of christians and yet jesus chose him jesus chose him to to write a lot of the new testament he gave him a chance chance upon chance peter betrayed him three times and and peter was the one who 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 was given authority to build the church so don't be overwhelmed by your sin don't walk around with your head down because the grace of the lord jesus christ is greater and as long as you are as long as you are asking him as long as you are asking him to to give you a breakthrough to help you he won't let you down and you will become stronger in the spirit in jesus name amen